None of us is perfect. We don't even need to speak of it. I do. I thought you were having an affair with Dan. I'm just glad Serena told me the truth before I did something I'd regret. Serena told you what truth? That you've been protecting your new relationship with Dan. Just like you did for us. When we weren't ready for my family to know we were dating. Of course. Although they had much more to be ashamed of than we did. We should let the ladies get back to Blair, business. please. After the accident, you told me you'd never leave me. Now you feel further away than ever. It's true, I've been keeping a secret. I'm converting to Catholicism. I knew how important it was for you to be married to the church. That's wonderful. Let's go celebrate the first year of the rest of our lives together. drove Chuck and Blair's car the night of the accident. Look, I appreciate the invitation to the party, but I've already told the police everything I know. Which is what exactly? Those photographers got really close to the car, but the bigger problem was that my brakes felt like they had no pressure. I swear, I checked them before my shift started. Hey, listen, I'm sorry I couldn't tell you about Serena and me, but... We didn't want our families to know, and you're kind of like her brother. So were you. Well, I didn't do it to upset you. Humphrey, I don't care about you or a blonde pseudo-sibling. Your relationship with Serena may explain the sneaking around, but does not make sense of the fact Blair cut me out of her life. Chuck, I swear, I don't know. I think you do. When I find out what secret you've been keeping and why, you will pay. for me. I know you're not keen on a damn deja vu. Well, it's a sacrifice that I can handle. It's yours that I'm worried about, though. There you are. Serena, you better find Dan. It's bad luck not to kiss you love at the stroke of midnight. Ten, nine, eight. Well, I guess this is our cue. Sorry, I couldn't think of a better way to save Blair. 